This is Optimal Finance Daily, episode 1538, Why I Like Spending Plan Better Than Budget, by Miranda Marquette with ptmoney.com. And I'm your host and personal finance enthusiast, Diana Merriam. This is the show where I narrate posts from a wide variety of personal finance blogs. We cover so much on the show, from saving to investing to debt reduction and more. So thank you for joining me today and every day. And before we get to it, have you subscribed to our other podcasts? We cover personal development and minimalism, health, relationships, entrepreneurship, and life advice on the other shows. Just search for Optimal Living Daily wherever you get your podcasts to find them. But for now, let's get right to it and continue optimizing your life. Why I Like Spending Plan Better Than Budget by Miranda Marquette with ptmoney.com. I really hate the word budget. Of course, like so many things in life, my aversion to the word budget has more to do with my own personal baggage than any real problem with the word itself. In the case of the word budget, my personal finance baggage is quite heavy. When I'm talking about how I manage my money, I prefer to use the phrase spending plan. It seems, I think, to convey a better sense of control and purpose. I know that a spending plan is really just another budgeting technique but I feel better about it anyway. Budget equals restrictions. One of the biggest issues I have with the concept of budgets is the restriction factor. I know that as a personal finance blogger, I'm supposed to be okay with cutting back, but I really don't like the idea of enforced restrictions on my spending, even when I'm the one creating the restrictions with a budget. My personal money style is that of a spender and a budget cramps my style. To me, budgets are about limitations. Within a budget, I try to set a limit on different categories of spending. Once I hit that limit, I'm supposed to be done. There's no spontaneity, unless of course I budget that in too, but it seems kind of pointless to budget in what's supposed to be fun, spontaneous spending. After a while, the budget starts to chaff and you feel restricted and you start to feel a little bit harried, forced to count every penny and possibly pinch each penny as well. It's exhausting, and in my case, it sucks the joy right out of spending money. Spending plan, flexibility after meeting funding priorities. Instead, with a spending plan, I find there's a little more flexibility. Just because I don't like budgeting and I like spending doesn't mean that I ignore the basics of good financial practices. Instead, I plan some of my spending ahead of time to make sure that my most important funding priorities are met. Before I spend on entertainment, recreation, dining out, and travel, I make sure that the essentials are covered. My funding priorities include tithing to my church, charitable donations, monthly obligations like my mortgage, insurance premiums, utilities, groceries, etc., my retirement account, emergency fund, effort to build dividend income portfolio, and long-term spending goals like a vacation, car down payment, home improvement, etc. As far as I'm concerned, once those funding priorities are met, other spending categories don't matter. I automate most of my funding priorities so that it's all taken care of without conscious effort and recorded in my personal finance software. There's no need to pre-plan how much money I can spend eating out or going to the movies. I don't have to hold off on buying sale-priced camping gear just because it's not in the budget for the month. As long as I don't go beyond my means, there's no need for a formalized restriction on spending categories. Reactive versus proactive financial planning. Another difference I see between budgets and spending plans is that one seems reactive while the other is more proactive. To me, a budget seems reactive. It's as if you're on the financial defensive, cutting spending and trying to avoid overspending in each category. It's a position that seems to encourage a lack of control. In my mind, having a budget is a lot like being at the mercy of your money. On the other hand, a spending plan evokes feelings of purposeful spending. In my mind, a spending plan is about taking charge of my finances and redirecting my money. I can choose the way I direct my resources, planning to fund my most important priorities. It just seems more positive to focus efforts on creating a spending plan that puts you squarely in charge of your financial destiny. Rather than thinking, I can only do this much this month, as a budget encourages you to think, A spending plan allows you to say, I'm going to do this with my money. Perhaps it's not a big difference, but it reveals a lot about the mindset. 
With the budget mindset, money is always scarce. Even if money isn't scarce in your situation, the budget mindset seems to set up financial scarcity, since you know there is a cap on what you can spend in certain categories. Your spending plan, though, indicates that you have some sort of direction and purpose for at least some of your spending, and implies that you have the money to meet your goals and that you're in charge of your money habits, deciding where your resources should be used next. What do you think? Many might say that there is little to choose between a budget and a spending plan. To me though, spending plan is preferable. You just listened to the post titled Why I Like Spending Plan Better Than Budget by Miranda Marquit with ptmoney.com. Semantics matter because they have an effect on how we feel about a certain topic. So for example, when I think about exercising and fitness goals, it feels daunting and hard. But when I think about movement, that feels more manageable. I tell myself that the goal is movement, not exercise. And for whatever reason, these mental gymnastics get me to exercise. A spending plan sounds like a budget to me, but if it sounds less restrictive to you and more likely that you'll stick to it, then definitely use it. A budget or spending plan is merely telling your money where to go rather than wondering where it went. It's all about awareness and intention. And that doesn't mean that you necessarily need to budget for every dollar. Deciding how much you will save every month and then spending the rest is still a budget. By engaging with some kind of budget or spending plan, you're taking control of the situation and you're more able to keep track of your progress towards long-term goals. I think the reason I like budgeting is because I'm a pretty competitive person. And so I feel like I'm winning something when I come in under budget. So for example, I redid my budget when leaving my full-time job and allocated $400 per month to groceries. This was based on my actual spending over the last year when I was a bit more relaxed in my budget. And over the last three months, I've consistently come in at $50 to $100 under budget, which gives me a great feeling of accomplishment. If you're frustrated by your budget and you're consistently overspending, it could be that your plan is just not realistic. Perhaps it's time to make adjustments or reframe it as a spending plan rather than giving up on budgeting altogether. And that should do it for today. Have a happy rest of your day and I'll see you on the Thursday show tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.